Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivaraman of iNoIndices.com. Let me present my PowerPoint presentation. Good day one and all. Tracking the Forex Market Together Part 1. So, it is on January 21st between 9 and 9.45 GMT. We will be tracking the market and trying to find out how exactly the trading decisions can be done. So also we will see how exactly we have to approach the market in order to make the trading decisions. So for that we will be using one of the simplest tool possible namely the live market code page and I will give the link for the same. You can open it in a browser and you can see that the live market code page shows the high, low and net change against each currency pair. The four majors, Euro GBP, USD Yen and USD CHF and also the two commodity pairs, namely USD CAD and Australian dollar. If you track all the six pairs, you will be able to easily understand what they are trying to do it and try to relate it to the respective crosses, then the moves in the respective crosses will also be understood. So we need to understand or read the intentions of the players before taking positions and if you fail to read their intentions and we go only by the law, the quick moves happening in the market then probably we could be trapped. So for that first of all we need to understand what are the timings followed by that of the players. So you know that according to that of the geographical positions of various countries and the closing and the opening of the banks in various countries. So the players have divided that particular market or the 24 hours currency market into three parts namely the part one Japanese session 0030 to 0730 GMT then 730 to 8 GMT is a gap time you can call it as session one session two also it is not uh, important but ultimately we need to understand that the timings they are following in the market manipulations we need to track it so this is one of the important thing to understand then European session starts by 8 GMT so currently we are on around 9 GMT that means one hour is over from the start of the European session then it lasts till 14 GMT 14 to 14 30 GMT will be the gap time during which the bank bulk orders will not be appearing in the market as a result the players will try to use such bulk orders to hit the stops so the gap time moves are false moves so you need to understand when the gap time falls so you can try to do gap time trades as a different type of trading strategy understanding that they make the false move otherwise within the session you will be able to track the market and try to take the positions then your session starts by 14.30 GMT Again we will meet by 15 GMT, 30 minutes past to the start of the session. Then we will review the market and also try to take trading decisions. Then the gap time after that of the US session is 21.30 GMT. Then till next day 3.003 GMT we come across the gap time. So we can follow that gap time and try to trade accordingly the next day starts by 003 GMT so that is how the 24 hour cycle is being uh, distributed into three sessions by that of the players we need to understand that then afterwards what are the factors to be considered before taking into that of the trading decisions try to track the market using the GMT timing so you come across in the live market code page the link what I have given that the GMT time is being mentioned so irrespective of the local time you can just simply follow the 24 hours market using the GMT time frame so you can, in order to understand when you have to get up and watch the market when the session starts etc probably you can look into that of the time available in your local computer and try to relate it to that of the GMT but track the market using the GMT time then identify the sessions what I have mentioned the gap time and the session start mid session and the late session. The gap times they make the false move so when they quickly rise during the, the gap time understand the first 30 minutes of the session they want to drop 
then during such rise you can sell then during the drop you can book profit that is one trading position you can do then secondly session start you come across session start you come across uh, the quick moves happening in that of the majors so you can try to see the market whether it is near that of the high or near that of the low and accordingly try to take the positions i'll explain how exactly it can be done then the mid sessions they handle the crosses so if you are interested in trading crosses then focus during that of the mid sessions you will be able to understand that trading crosses will become easier when you focus during that of the mid sessions the first one and a half hours from the start of the session the last one and a half hours from the close of the sessions or the early and the late sessions then in between time is referred as a mid session so we have to see how exactly during mid sessions they are trying to make that moves then watch the live market code page whenever time permits and you can use the chart and other type of analysis but primarily focus on that of the live market code page so that you will be able to see the pip by pip movements and also how quickly they are making the moves because if you look into that of the live market code page and related to that of the time what they are given it it is easy for you to understand whether they are making about 10 to 20 pips drop or 30 40 pips rise and things like that otherwise if you look into that of the candle whenever the market becomes subdued the candle gets magnified because the range between the high and the low will be reduced then it might appear like a big red candle formed or a green candle formed and that may trigger your emotions but ultimately they would have done about 20 25 pips and that is a normal swing in the market so you should be able to uh, watch the market without any bias or without any sort of uh, the emotional grip so for that the live market code page really helps you and you will be able to see also the net change available in that live market code page and that will indicate how much of pips at a given time they have made the moves so in the live market code page see how exactly the high is being set and the low is set and the net change and compare it to that of the current market level and relate the current market to that of the high or to that of the low then you will be able to understand whether they have formed the high and then made a drop or they have formed the low and then made the rise you will be able to easily differentiate it rather than looking at that of the chart because if you look into that of the live market code page then obviously you have to watch for at least 30 minutes by the time you will be able to understand whether the market is making really subdued move or very volatile move and whether it gives a trading opportunity or not and also related to that of the session time whether it is the early session or the late session then try to focus on the majors and if it is a mid session just if you are trading only in the case of euro and gbp avoid taking positions during mid session <coughs> or when the market is in the middle level that is between the high and the low then identify the currency pair which is made more than 40 pips spread between the high and the low and try to choose such currency for trading because if the spread between the high and the low for example in the case of yen the spread between the high and the low is hardly about 25 pips or 28 pips so what big trade you will be able to do it unless and otherwise they make a break out on the low and break out at the high you will be able to make about 30 pips or 35 pips uh, profit booking trade so instead of focusing on a currency which has made a very subdued move try to focus on a currency which has made a wide move so that either way the traders are participating the players will also find it interesting to make an upward move and a downward move in order to hit the stops so when they make a downward move to hit the stops try to buy when they make an upward move to hit the stops on that of the short sellers you try to book profit so that is what the players are doing so they trigger the stops and sell it at the highest level the buy stops and at the lowest level they trigger the sell stops and buy from them so this is what day in and day out or even every session they try to do it so trade along with them because we don't have the money power to trade against them but it may appear that we are trading against the trend but intraday trend they are trying to create it and they try to just handle the traders either way 
So it is not that in a bullish market, if you do a buy and sell trade, you will be very, very safe. In a bearish market, if you try to do a sell and buy trade, you will be very, very safe because the players can always try to hit the stops when the stops are in plenty in a closer vicinity. Then how to take an entry decision? So within the session, we can try to buy near that of the low or sell near that of the high when the high or the low are not being breached for more than 30 minutes. So this is a very important decision and so that you can sell near that of the high or buy near that of the low. So for that we need to use the live market code page. I will come to the live market code page after explaining these things so that you will find it more relevant. That is why I am not showing the live market code page now. So and afterwards, afterwards watch the session start or the session close time, how exactly they are making the moves. So within the session try to close the position. So when you are trying to take an entry position, you can only try to buy near that of the low or sell near that of the high. They are the two possible entries in the market. And in the event if the high or the low are breached, then I will explain to you with the help of next slide how exactly the trading decision has to be. So when the high is not breached or the low is not breached, when the market is near the high, you can take a sell position within the session, you should be able to close the position with a profit. When the market is near the low and the low has not been breached in the first 30 minutes of observation, if you try to take a buy position, you will be able to close within the session with a profit. Then how to exit? The exit is also equally important because when the going is good, then the greed grips in. When the going is no good, the fear grips in. So invariably the traders are under the emotional grip and ultimately whenever we become emotional, our mind is not in a position to use logistics and try to take decisions. So always try to see that you control your emotions and also plan your exit. The exit of the position with a profit when the going is good should be in near that of the opposite level. That is when you have got a buy position then try to exit near that of the high set for the day or that particular session or whenever you have got a sell position try to close it near that of the low when the market comes closer to that because invariably you find 24 hours they cannot make aggressive moves in the market. They have to necessarily make swings in the market between the high and the low, low and the high uh, alternatively. So identify that okay they wanted to drop then take a sell buy trade and close it. Then take a buy and sell trade and try to close it. This way either way you can participate provided you are able to give importance to that of the high and the low what they have set it. There are two types of high and the lows I will explain to you. The initial high and the low set during the start of the Japanese session around 3.30 GMT, they set the high and the low, that is referred as the initial high and low. Then subsequently what you come across in the live market code page are the current highs and the lows. So how they are to be related, I will explain to you with the help of the next slide. Then always whenever you are taking a position, you stop. So don't allow the last to become unlimited. Similarly. When a position is making profit, don't think that you will get about 500-600 prof pips profit in one go. So always understand there are limitations with regard to the market moves. So they can rise about 150 pips roughly in the case of Vero, 50 pips in the case of GBP. So whenever they have reached such limits, when they have made quick moves in the market, understand you have to exit out of the position and re-enter when a next opportunity comes tomorrow. So they will never be in a position to continuously rise and they have to oscillate the market and if they are not oscillating the market and trying to continue the gains every day about 100 pips, then you will come across one extended downward stop and before making a rise. That is what we have seen yesterday during that of the US session. On a flimsy ground, they simply dropped about 100, 140 pips and then subsequently reversed all. So if you think that that US data was positive, so they had dropped it, then after about 3-4 hours you find that it has been discounted. So 
invariably you find that whatever the data release whatever that attribute they try to give it they are all short lived then afterwards depending upon the traders commitment the players continue to make a differential moves in the market so whenever you take a position you stop about 30 40 pips and if you want avoid booking any loss when the position makes about 20 25 pips profit you keep stop at entry and remove the other stop so that you don't incur any loss when they go against you so this is the first step so the first step of earning is avoid losing so once you avoid losing then obviously you will be able to do a sensible earning from the other market so <laughs> see always that you are able to keep stop at entry without any fear and don't have the impression that if you keep stop at entry they may hit you a stop and then go up and you may miss that opportunity don't think like that when they do it it is they are not going to rise straight away they will make one more swing at that time you will be able to take another buy position if you want and try to keep stop 30 pips below and keep stop at entry also so if they hit the stops it doesn't mean that you have missed the opportunity you always think that you will get a better opportunity from the other market because every day you come across trading opportunities so it is not that euro has gone up to 1.35 so there is no trading opportunity nothing like that every day near that of the low you can buy every day near that of the high there could be a sell possibility so keep that in mind the levels continue to change but the trading opportunities continue to prevail in the market then entry and exit can be fine tuned by using limit orders so instead of trying to take the position say for example euro is currently trading around 1.3552 doesn't mean that you have to just buy it around that particular level about 10 15 pips below that you can keep an order when they make a swing then you will find your order will get filled and if your platform is conservative and they are not making the moves as you come across in the live market code page then modify and try to keep about 7 8 pips below that of the market they will give a definite fill on that and there are some platforms they whenever there is a quick drop happening in the market they may not drop up to that but they may hit all the stops but they may not fill the limit orders so try to see that the limit orders are filled based on your experience you can decide uh, how much pips how many pips you can keep below that of the current market level so that they will give a definite fill during a small swing in case if they are not filling it for about 10 to 30 minutes understand that the players are not willing to drop for the simple reason that they are trapped already the short sellers at this level then you try to keep modify the order and try to keep it at a higher level and try to buy it so that way if you try to take a decision after about 30 minutes of watch you will fine tune your entry and you will see quickly the profit making opportunity with such trades so there is no need to grab the positions you can grab the profit that is different but grabbing the position and it is something like uh, jumping into the running bus invariably you find that there might be a slippage so avoid that and calmly trade you will be able to really continuously trade without any fatigueness then avoid impulsive decision like buying during the rise or selling during the drop there are the common mistakes done by that of the novice traders so if you want to become a professional then give keep it cool mind and see that you are able to find tune your entry and look for a good opportunity and try to enter into the market rather than taking a position and feeling uh, addict to trading so don't become possessive of the positions or possessive of the currencies and don't be affiliated to any currency pair understand that they are all tradable and whichever the currency which is making about 40 50 pips spread between the high and the low only look into those currencies who are trading opportunities don't say that no i am familiar with trading in yen so i will only try to take positions in yen if you try to say that 
probably whenever there is subdued moves happening in yen you may not be able to do good trades so look for a currency which can give you great potency and you know that in the market you come across various type of reports then you know that euro is the highest traded currency on both sides both on the sell side and on the buy side that is why you come across it is not making any big moves like what we have seen yesterday when gbp has made about 200 pips drop there was made only 100 pips drop so if you are a conservative trader then understand that trading in euro will be very good there are occasions you know that the irish problem and things like that they are just really done damage to that of the traders who have been doing it in euro but now that is over so always during extreme times you will find that sort of things happening in the market especially during trend reversal and don't de develop some sort of uh, aversion to a particular currency just because you have made huge loss in one currency the main loss was due to not because of the currency that you are not kept the stops then in the event the initial high or the low or breached what you are supposed to do say for example in the case of euro they breached the initial high and they are staying above so at this time let me just focus the camera over that of the live market code page and explain to you so currently euro is trading around 1.34 35 46 1.3548 1.3450 was the low 1.3566 the current high they have breached even the recent high of 1.3558 and gone above so when it is holding above that of the initial low where do you find the initial low then let me focus the camera over that of the uh, another slide wherein i have made a note of the initial highs and the lows set for the day and that i normally show it during that of the asian session live market analysis webinar so in the case of euro the initial high was 1.3513 so when they are holding above that of the initial high 1.3513 that was set between 230 and 330 gmt or around 330 you can make a note of the initial lows and the initial high the low 1.3450 which is not breached and 1.3513 they have breached and gone above and went up to 1.3558 and just about 5 minutes back they have just breached that particular high also to form 1.3566 and they are hovering around that of 1.354547 level so still it is holding above that of the initial high when they are holding above that of the initial high what you are supposed to do you can do a buy and sell trade that is buy above that of the initial high just opposite of what i explained in the previous trading strategy wherein you sell near that of the high and buy near that of the low when they breach the high and stayed above that high for more than 30 minutes now you find two sessions they are holding above that of that high so they intend to make further rise so at that time you try to keep a buy order 1.3535 just 10 pips below that on the market and see whether they are filling it where exactly the stop should be 1.3500 you can keep stop 1.3513 they breach and that means they wanted to come and hit the stops below that of the low and then go up like what they had done it earlier so you can keep stop tight stop below that also so understand that they continue to rise in the process if all turn long and nobody is having a sell position anybody who has got the sell position who has covered this short and turn long again then there's no point in rising the market further up because if they rise in a philanthropic way the players will be giving profit to every trader holding the buy position they are here to grab the money of the traders they are not that generous in giving profit to that of the traders only if you are smart enough and try to read their intentions and try to trade along with them then probably you will be able to make money and otherwise it will be rather difficult 
So you have to understand that they are just kept above that of the initial high. See, afterwards they formed a new high, 1.3566, and come down now to 1.3540. You can find that they are making a small swing between that of the risk, the initial high and the recent high. So they consolidate here, then the traders might think that, okay, this is the level. But the players have trapped at the lower level, all the short sellers still, they are not given the profit booking. Today is Friday. So obviously, all the traders who are making a nominal loss, they will be waiting for a good opportunity to cover it back <coughs> with a profit. But when they rise further up, then obviously they will come for the short covering. So normally whenever the rise happens, the players rise it forcibly, then subsequently the short sellers come for the short covering, then also you come across the bullish traders try to buy it at the highest level, thinking that it will go to infinity. Then the market drops. So you find that the three stages of buying happens. The first buy is by that of the players, afterwards they give it to them, then others come to buy. So you have to understand during the rise, the players are only booking profit with regard to their earlier buys. What they are position traders, so obviously what they accumulated around 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.2870, or 1.2870, those positions they are liquidating. But we become bullish. So this is how they create the market sentiment and act against that of the traders. But they lighten their position and then go up further. So that we need to read. It is not that after booking profit, they will drop the market and then continue to make the cycle from 1.35 to 1.30, 1.30 to 1.35. If they make cycles, people can easily understand, okay, this is a cycle. So whenever it comes to 1.35, sell. Whenever it comes to 1.30, buy. Then it is an easy game. So they don't make the game so easy. What they do, they continue to rise. So they do the shift in trading zone. I explained it elaborately in my trading system webinar. Probably you can follow that. Then we'll be able to understand that lower level, middle level, and higher level. That is how they make the moves in the market. So currently there is going to be a shift in trading zone from that 1.35 area to 1.40 area. So from 1.30, they took it up to 1.35 and 1.40. We should come across very fast. and Normally, the final rise will be very, very fast rise. Initial rise will be hardly uh, difficult to understand whether it is a uh, correction during the downward move or whether it is a genuine rise, people will not be able to differentiate. Then the second level of rise, people will be able to differentiate and think that, okay, it is not able to breach the resistance. It's not able to breach the resistance. That is how they will induce the people to say, then finally, they will just go up and everybody will turn bullish and they will not show the levels like what you come across now. And if you just miss 5 minutes, you will find 50 pips above only, you will be able to buy. If you miss another 5 minutes, you might be able to buy it only about 40 pips above or 100 pips above. That's how they will make the moves very, very volatile and try to see that all the traders liquidate their shots and buy it from them. Then they will be happily selling at that level. So you would have noticed that they took arrow like that to 1.60, GBP to 1, 2.11. When you compare it to that of the current levels, you will be able to understand how far they have got the potency to take up the currencies. With regard to GBP, 1.585, the low which is intact, 1.5942 was the high. They breached it by one pip. And they are holding it closer to that of the low. So you identify that low has not been breached. Within low on the high, it is swinging. So we will try to buy whenever they are closer to that of the low, around that of the psychological level, otherwise 1.59. Let us see how exactly 1.59 they are going to respect. And if they are going to respect it and they are not going to breach below that, then try to buy it over there. So that is how one has to take a decision. Then initial low in the case of CHF was 6, 0.9649 and you find the current low is 0 0.9606. So that means they formed a new low. So they breached the initial low and formed a new low. 
so when they would have reached the low and they have not come above that of the initial low for more than 30 minutes you understand they could make for the downward move so when they have formed a new low and if they are not breached with a new low for more than 30 minutes to 2 hours then one can initiate the buy so we will not be able to do a buy and sell trade and also you find the spread between the initial low and the high was very less and now the spread has increased but they formed 0 0.9606 at the low and 36 pips negative net change is seen so we have to see how exactly they are respecting 0 0.96 respecting in the sense are they able to find stops below that of 0 0.96 or there are only buy orders. If there are only buy orders, they will not make a dip. And if there are stops, then they will try to happily hit the stops and buy and then go up. So that we have to look for. Now it is a mid session, so we will not try to take positions in the majors directly. So this is how we have to take trading decisions. I will anyhow show one trade and show it to you how exactly profit can be booked in such a trade. Then USDN, they Initial low was 8287, then breached the low and formed 8273 as the low, still holding below that. So they could just make little more dip or hover around in this particular level. And once they come above that of 80 to 87 and sustain there for more than 30 minutes, one can buy so that they will be able to breach the high at the time book profit. Then in the case of Australian dollar, yesterday they had dropped nearly about 170 pips. And people will be wondering why such a big drop in Australian dollar when uh, Australia was under the influence of floods and there was not much of a drop. But yesterday it has happened. Why? Because most of the traders have turned long position and so they have made 170 pips drop and to 0 0.9899 .9 they came down and straight came to 9810 level and then subsequently they formed the low for today and started gaining the levels now you find about RC is showing about one pip positive net change in the live market code page so they are not breached that 9841 and they are currently around 9871 area so when they make a small dip one can initiate a buy and not now then in the case of Indian dollar in the case of Canadian dollar, 99.56 was the low which is not breached, 99.77 was the high that as they have breached and formed the 99.86 and yesterday they took it up to parity and then made up again about 50 pips and today they have not breached the low and they come above the double low and staying near that of the low, 99.77 was the initial high. We are currently trading around 99.71, 99.75, just about a few bits below that of the initial high. So once they go above that of the initial high and stay there for more than 30 minutes, one can take a buy position, then you will see a definite profit. So this is how you have to see where exactly they are staying or whether they are near that of the high or near that of the low and what sort of trading decisions we can take in every currency pair then among that which will be the safest currency that is how we should shortlist and then try to take the position let me minimize this particular powerpoint presentation and sorry So, when the high or the lower breeze, then identify the type of move, whether it is a stop and. So, what is stop and? It is a move which happens in less than 30 minutes. They go above that of the initial high and come down in less than 30 minutes. In the case of Euro, they have not done it. But in the case of GPP, they have done it. So, in the case of GPP, they cut the high by one pip and then come down. Then, you have to see how they are going to handle the low. So, currently, GPP, you find that it has come to that of the low, 48.81. See, if you wait for such moves, then you will be able to really understand that, you know, rather than simply taking the position you know, during the mid session. Then a false move, whether they come up to it of the low and then go up, or they breach the low and come above that of the low like a stop end. So in the case of 
GBP 1.5885 as the low and they breached the low and formed 1.5881 as the new low. Four pips below. If they come above that of 1.3 in less than 30 minutes and stay there for 30 minutes then you can buy it even at 1.5890, you will be able to see profit in that. Then whether they are making an extended move. Now what you come across in the case of Euro is an extended move. They breach the high and staying above that of the high and for more than 30 minutes to 2 hours. And it is an intentional move related to that of that extended move. So they intend to continue to rise at least till end of this particular session. So intentional move is the one which happens in a continue in a particular direction for more than two hours. So extended move is just for two hours and reverse it. Whereas intentional move, they are holding it above 1.3513 for more than four five hours. That means they intend to rise it. So extended stop and like what they are done yesterday, from that of the high they drop and breach the low and come all the way about 150 pips net change level. And then reverse it back all the way and come to that of the high. A typical example yesterday. This they do it during that of the shift in trading zone. So I made that remark in the blog that shift in trading zone is going to happen. But nobody made a mention whether there is going to be an extended move, extended stop. And, but after the stop, and many said yes, as you have said that they have made it. So always you try to understand all the type of moves and whenever there is going to be a shift in trading zone understand that they have to make an extended stop and, and then afterwards they are expected to make the rise for the rise. So for extended move wait for two hours and enter a counter trade sell after that of the rise of 150 pips then you will be able to get a profit in the trade and quickly buy after a quick drop. So these are all the two alternative way a counter trade can be done. Then if the higher the low stay above if the higher or low are cut and stay above there or below that for 30 minutes, do technical trade like what I have recommended in the case of Euro, buy around 1.353 and try to book some profit when they go above that of the recent high. So that sort of trade can be done. And in the case of GBTC, they made a quick downward stop and come to 58, 93, 97. So in less than 30 minutes. So this is how they make the stop and before making a rise. So this you need to understand. Then once you are able to understand, you automatically see that the fear goes away. Whenever they make such moves during quick drop, you will not mind making a buy. And similarly, whenever they are making a quick rise, you do not mind taking a sell position or book profit in your buy position. Then whenever you do a technical trade, see that within the same session, you will try to close the position or at the maximum the next session. But don't take the trade to the next day. So in this session, you are and GBP are expected to swing and rise. So this is the forecast what I have given already in the blog. So let us take the trading decision. Now, with regard to the currencies in which you want to trade the trading position, I explained to you that Euro, the initial high was 1.3513. Still they are above that, even though they made a quick downward stop in the case of GPP. So we will keep a limit by order. They come to 1.3538. So we will try to keep it about 1.35. To eight with a stop of 30 pips or because it is a technical trade by above that the initial high we are doing it so the stop can be just about 5 10 pips below that of the initial high 1.5313 was the high so we will keep the stop at one point sorry three uh, three five zero zero 
Then you find in the case of GBP, they made a quick downward stop and, and then come above. So we will try to keep a buy order just about one or two pips above that of the initial high 1.3, 1 1.5885. 1 So one pip above 1.5886. So current level is 1.5894. So let us see whether they are giving it or not. So this is a limit by order. Then immediately we keep stop. Thirty pips below. And you know that uh, GBB made a very quick downward move. You will be wondering what suddenly they made the quick drop in the case of GBP when Euro was not making a drop. It is a mid session so obviously they are handling the crosses. You know that Euro GBP is the cross wherein they made a quick 10 pitch upward stop. And so from that of 0 0.8517 they went up to 0 0.8526 then come to 0 0.8517 a quick upward stop and they have made it in the case of Euro GBP so we will take a sell limit order because it is a mid session 0 0.85 they have made it 8516 with of pips. In the case of crosses, <laughs> we need to keep 50 pips stop because the volatility will be high and the volume is less. So obviously the volatility will be, will be very high. If you keep 30 pips, they can quickly hit that. So keep 50 pips stop and once the position makes profit, try to keep stop at entry. See the fine entry will be during that of the stop around 85.26 or 85.22 and things like that. But anyhow I have missed it. So I will try to take a sell around this and see what happens to this particular position. So the rest of the position CHF you find that still they are closer to that of 0 0.96. We will not take a decision. We wanted to see whether they are going to do a stop or not. And EN, very subdued move between the high and the low, so we will avoid Australian dollar uh, 0 0.986366 on the current level, 0 0.9841 is the low, we will keep a limit by order. And keep 30 pips stop. Just two pips above that of the initial loan. They still it fine because they have not breached the high and they are not breached the low. And let us see how exactly they are going to handle the low and then try to take a buy. Then USD CAD, they are currently around that of 99.77. That was the initial high I said. So when it comes to about 99. 80 and sustain there for about 30 minutes then we will try to take a buy so we will wait for the currency to move so this is how we can take the decision which currency we have to take and what type of trade we are going to do whether it is a buy and sell swing trade or a sell and buy swing trade or a technical trade of buy above that of the high or sell below that of the low this sort of trading decisions if we take then you will find profit booking becomes easier. Now my buy limit is being filled so it becomes buy position so at any given time we take only 30 pips stop and we take only risks for about 30 pips in case if they just hit the stop doesn't matter or if you do not want to use the stop then probably you can think of a cross wherein you can take a position where GBP is the numerator currency wherein the similar moves are there the next change say for example in the case of GBP USD the next change is 18 pips so you choose another GBP cross wherein the next change is around the same 15 to 20 pips 
and then try to take a sell position as a hedging or keep 30 pips below the market a sell order that will act as a hedging otherwise you will do a simple trading of keep a limit and see how exactly they are filling it they came quickly down and hit the stops and now you find they hit the recent low 1.5880 has become the new low 81 was the image uh, subsequent low they formed 80 as the low so it shows very clearly that they wanted to create the sentiment actually they do not want to drop money and now our 28 is also filled it becomes buy position so if somebody says that buy euro there is no need to buy at the market you can just fine tune and try to keep the order in case you can watch and finally keep a limit order two three pips below the market they will fill and for the demo purpose I am just trying to show you that how exactly we can keep the orders and we have got the stop to limit the risk so always keep the stop so that the risk will be less and it is acceptable risk and don't make the risk unacceptable by avoid keeping the stop don't think that avoid keeping this up you will become a smart trader but invariably the market will try to become smarter than you and try to show a big loss in AUD also they are making a dip 98.50 they are come to let us see how exactly they are going to do that so if there are questions probably I will go through that it's already taken time oh, ok fine And Rob, uh, okay, I focus the camera over that of the live market code page. Uh, thank you for all previous advice. How is could the euro could go? That is the only thing. The question is how high it can go. So already you have seen the high 1.3566, and they have made a dip, and still they are above that of the initial high so obviously they can take it to that next psychological level 1.36 then the target uh, in the case of Vero I am estimating about 1.39 by next week then draw uh, net pip is less than 70 pips so as they are not uh, breaking high we should be selling not buying and it's not the net change I am talking about oh, there are some more questions here ok ok Jan Poker has got a question uh, does anyone know what is the word Okay. Okay. Victor, what is your stand on Euro USD? Euro USD is expected to go up further. So, so net change, I think Rob is referred to net change is 75 pips. So as they are not breaking the high no that is what in the case of Euro they formed a new high and that has not been broken but you can probably try to do a small swing trade of selling around 35.62 and buy it around 35.30 or 35.28 that is possible but if you look for a small uh, scalping then you may miss the major opportunities and uh, whenever the major opportunities comes and quickly when they rise you may not be participative in the market because you will be holding a wrong position then it gets struck yeah. then then Jack has got another question concerning GBP USD do you see it is remaining at 1.60 yeah it will regain to 1.60 today 
and if we when do you see it's happening yeah you'll come across quick rise to us during the late european session as a surprise do you think that the downward for gbp usd is started once again no don't immediately imagine that they will come back to that 1.54 because in order to create the market sentiment they have to necessarily make some such moves and the easiest currency is gbp for them to make a quick drop like yesterday they made about 200 pips drop in the case of gbp and immediately all have gone short in the case of euro thinking that okay this is not the one which has dropped so obviously it is going to follow suit with gbp and drop but they are all got trapped no they are taking it to 1.35 and holding it so to create sentiment they use gbp and if you go with the sentiment then nobody can help you in anurag what if they hover a between the initial high low and the high throughout the session that means they are making swings between the high and the low the possibility is that they are attracting the volume and until such time the traders commit positions they have to necessarily make small swings in the market once the traders commit position only then they will be able to earn money so suppose no trader is taking position and they are only making the circular trade what is the benefit out of that when are you holding your yearly forecast now i am not going to present the yearly forecast for the simple reason because many of the small traders they immediately think of the yearly target and miss all great trading opportunities with regard to their buy position or sell positions and when it is making a huge loss they simply think of yearly target and hold the position without understanding their small equity may not allow them to hold it for a long time so um, more than the constructive part it acts as a destructive uh, information given to that of the small traders and so small traders invariably they don't require the yearly forecast only the big institutions they need to know with regard to the currency conversions so i'm not going to give the forecast for the year 2011 straight as a single piece but during the daily webinar and also the weekly webinars and tracking the market i will try to give you what could be the projected levels in the recent time frame i think that will be helpful for the small traders when you say shift in the trading zone do you mean for both the pairs the euro and the gpp yes in all pairs there are no wrong is there any importance for the gpp doing the news time just like gpp now yeah that's what they make a small dip like that how quickly they are gained above in less than 30 minutes now once they go above 58 85 See, they come to 58, 83. Another two pips. That's all. Up to 69, they made a drop. You know, I told you that we have to wait for 30 minutes. If you wait for 30 minutes, then you would have just picked up here, around 58, 70 or 58, 71. But I wanted to finish the webinar, so I entered there. Still, I fine-tuned and kept a buy order just 10 pips below, and even they are gone one 10 pips below that. that's all that's part of the game is there any importance for the gaps during that of the news time just like the gpp no gap time moves are different gap times you know that the timings you have to follow and during that they will make the move and that will indicate the first 30 minutes what they intend to do the opposite will be seen during first 30 minutes what is your, what is your thought on usd cad usd cad is expected to go up parity very soon now today or tomorrow or monday everything seems very helpful okay fine okay fine no more questions so let me go back to that of the powerpoint presentation so here are the positions and what you are taken it has become a position is making a nominal profit and gbp position is making a nominal loss about 3 5 pips you will watch and yeah you did there just come up to 50 and they are not dropped it and because it's a mid session so we'll wait for some more time whether they are filling it otherwise i'll modify and buy it and you know gbp i took a position from there they went up to that of the high and again they come back to that of 80 60 85 80 so 
So let us see during that of the US session how exactly these positions are going to be treated, whether they are going to be in the profit zone or in the last. Zone. I how exactly I handled the positions, how I grabbed the profit, I'll explain to you by 15 GMT and also give you the new trade calls for that particular last session of that week. See you again by 15 GMT. Thank you one and all.